okay so let's take a look at how you can do character sprite movement so open gdevelop if you haven't already downloaded go to gdevelop app and download gdevelop for your operating system also you can download the respective sprite or background that you wish to use so when you create a new project it will give you default scene onto which you can drop your object so here if we start with let's say tile sprite for background okay can choose sky and drop it here now let's see if i want to extend this for our entire camera next thing we will also add our sprite for let's say monster okay now click on add animation now add its default idle movement okay you can find such sprite sheets so default zeroth animation if I set it on loop and if I preview it you can see it looks something like this now also add walking moment for animation one so let me go and get such sprite okay now there you go if we preview this you can see it's walking now apply this now let's drop it on our okay so i can resize this to the point that i want right and if i save this and run the project by default nothing will happen it will stay as static right but it will have its default movement which is we added with sprite idle movement now to make it move to this x-axis forward what we can do is we go to new scene now we have to add one condition let's say if i press keyboard right button for monster we choose other condition keyboard key pressed choose right so page up down let's find left right okay so we got the right one now what should happen if right key is pressed let's see monster should change its animation to value of one which is movement sprite click ok okay also we want it to move so let's say add force right for let's say x axis for speed of 30 and it should move instant we haven't defined any y axis movement so we will keep it blank click ok now we also have to think about what should happen if that key is released and we are no longer doing that what should happen so for now let's check this what will happen if we don't assign that key release so i press right key here you can see it slowly moves towards the x-axis right so what we can do is we can choose monster then other condition set keyboard key release and let's 
let's see key release should be text expression right so we check last key pressed key click ok right then we add action change the animation to let's say set to value of zero okay now we will save it now you can run this now here you see your monster and it is started moving when i press right key and if i release it it will come back to its state which is staying idle do it again and release it now you can set keys for up and down my row left and also set last press key at the last condition for that character so you get the idea how to do character sprite animation or movement in gdevelop